This episode is brought to you in partnership with Chew Chicago. Chicago and no. Hey. Hey. What's happening? This is episode number 77. Hey. hey. It's not the end of the podcast. No, it's not. It, it, uh, it's not even the end of the neighborhood community areas. <laughs> yeah, because if it were the end of the community areas, it would be the end of the podcast. No. Yeah, well, no. We still gonna go. Y'all don't. No. I know, but like it will be the end of this portion. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Giving not like we're gonna people. stop. No, no, no. We we hit, we in here for the long haul. Do you think they care? I think so. I think a few of them care. Shit. <laughs> a few of y'all give a damn, right? If we just stop. <laughs> That's gonna be the day's post question on uh, Spotify. Do y'all do give care? a damn? Do you? Do you care y'all give a damn about this podcast? Just message us and be like, I give a damn. <laughs> Please do. Actually, <laughs> just let us know. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, I know somebody's gonna be like, you know what? I don't I give a don't damn. I don't care. You know what? I listen to this just to shit on you and hate on you. That's messed up. That's, that's a, fair. That's, that's a bad fair. way to live, though. That's fair. It's fair, but it's uh, a bad way to live. If you just want to live with that hatred in your heart, that's yeah. fine. Yeah, if that's if that's you, then do that's you. On you do you do you boo boo? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you ready for today's trivia question? Uh, yeah. Chicago. Here's today's trivia question, including today's episode. How many community areas have we covered? Mm. A, 70, B, okay. 62, okay. C, 59. I should know this. You, you should know this. You I should mean, know but this. logically, why would I? I mean, yeah, we've been, we've been, we've been hustling out here. There's been two-week episodes. There's been three <laughs> episodes per week. But if anybody... But, episode weeks, three episode weeks. But if anybody caught on, they know the Wednesday episode was just a repeat of the community. Yeah, New but information, how, but, but when still. did we start doing the Wednesday episodes? Shit. Whew, that's a good question. That's a trivia question. I don't even know. Um, yeah, well, exactly. y'all, you got some time to figure it out after the break. But right now, 77 Flavors of Chicago, Now. This is the podcast where we visit all 77 of Chicago's historic neighborhoods and discuss their heritage and taste the amazing food. And if you know anything about us, we love two things, food and Chicago. So I can't wait to burn this gas money. You ready? Let's get it. This is the 77 Flavors of Chicago, the podcast. Wow. Wow. (laughs) Wow. Oh man, that's perfect. Episode 77, and I just cut off our damn my intro. <laughs> Oops. Ah, shit happens, right. y'all. And I almost right. started that bad boy back up. <laughs> you did start it back I up. I did start it back up. How's anyway. Your, how's your week going? Uh it's going good. You want to get to the finish give the answer first? Oh, sure. Yeah, let's give them the answer. <laughs> let's I give them the answer. That we asked a question. Yeah, we did. We did ask a question. Uh including today's episode, how many community areas have we covered? A 70, B 62. Or C, 59. What's your guess? <laughs> you know the answer. I do. You know the answer. 62. Hey, if you said 62, <laughs> <laughs> that, is, that is the correct hey. answer. We've only done 62. We got uh, 14 more to go. Damn, that's it? 14 more. Uh, that'll put us, what, December? December 12th. December 12th. Yeah, 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 December 12th. According to my calculations. Two Mondays in. Yeah, that it's gonna be fun. We should yeah. we should have some fun would with you that. Got, would you guys come to a final taping? Oh, live, one, yeah. a live final taping. If we did it live. Yeah. 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 Just yeah. like I don't know, twenty of you. Yeah. No, I mean shit. Let's pack the house out. Let's. No. What house? Somebody. <laughs> Somebody's house. Not our house. Somebody's house. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Uh, but how's my week doing? How's your week? I feel like it's so odd that we ask each other how our week are doing when we are with each other. You know, I think it's time. healthy though. I think because like we are with each other so so much. You know, we probably we don't just, check in with each we don't, other. We don't. We just assume yeah. we, we one we of going. us is just having breakdowns you know? in the corner, and the other one is unaware. <laughs> and I'm glad how we. You, how are you doing? I'm glad we resolve it in front of thousands. <laughs> <laughs> Thousands of you are hey, listening to you, us. You never know. Shit. I mean, it is what it is. You know. How, how was your week? It's it's good. Are you Honestly, okay? how do you feel? I feel good. Um, I have not recovered from Colorado. Me neither. I feel like this this uh, week right now feels like like. I need, I need a reset. Like, I need a Sunday. I, we've had a Sunday reset. But, <laughs> but I it, feel like an, I need another one. Yeah, I need. The, this, the Sunday reset, The you know, if you listen to this opening day, Monday, uh, yesterday didn't feel like <laughs> like a reset. No. Nah. It did not. At all. <laughs> it at didn't. All. Not, at all. Um, definitely not a reset. But honestly, I think it's because, like, 
we pack our weekends so much. We do. And um we do a lot. I just I just do too much, you know? I We do too much. No, but like a, a sides from work and podcasting and like our side projects that we work on and like all that shit that we do, I still also do too much. You know what yeah. I mean? I'm like, I need to go to Marshall's and I need to go to a <laughs> farmer's market and I need to go like to these all these little little shops and I need like for what? Yeah, you, you just just calm the fuck down. You wow. be having your Sunday. Uh, My self care Sunday. Yeah, there's self care Sunday. What was this? That's the <laughs> so piano. That was the self care. <laughs> Is that nails? I don't know. I did. I, I did get a pedicure this Sunday. Hey. Listen, listen. No matter what financial status I have been my entire life, okay, mm-hmm. I've always well, at least I would say for the last five or six years, yeah, my self care days priority Mm -hmm. like if if i can't afford to go get a hundred dollar manicure set that month yeah i will do my nails at home but that time is blocked sunday don't call me don't text me (laughs) i am not responding my phone my watch is off my phone's on the charger do not disturb yeah i'm about to say do not disturb like literally everything's on do not disturb i don't even pick up my phone on sundays do you like that feature though that you could just like on the text message no 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 the text message where somebody see is oh no it says Sarah. Oh, you can still notify me. I'm not responding. Yeah, okay. All you right. can still hit that's notify some, anyway. That's some bombardment right there. It is. You know? It's kind of... Well, <laughs> here's the thing. There's uh, three people in my life that have emergency bypass yeah. that I do not disturb. That's It's you, yep. my sister, and my mom. Yeah. Yeah, okay? me, same thing. Um, Me, your sister, and your mom? No, my, my, my other sisters. Oh. That's it. That's it. <laughs> um, but literally, that's it. Like, the... Only three people have that feature. You could note. You could still hit notify anyway. I'm not picking that shit up. Yeah, right. And like, I don't have the curiosity on Sundays. Did you and know though? Did you know though? When you hit, when, if they call back twice, back to back, yeah. it goes through automatically. I know. That's I'm this is not, emergency. I'm not. Uh, if if it's if you're calling me two times in a row, you say it better be good. It, <laughs> it better listen, be good. Listen, and don't don't be FaceTiming me. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> I, I hate FaceTime anyway. Yeah. And there's two people that insist on FaceTiming me in my life, <laughs> which are my sister and Aaron. Uh. <laughs> will insist on face, and I fucking Bruh. hate it. But I will answer. I answer every single time. But I just want you to know that I hate it. Ah, uh, Aaron, if you listen, this is one hell of a way to find out. <laughs> <laughs> no, she knows. Oh, yeah. She know she's aware. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and she she told me she said I don't FaceTime anybody else. Uh, it's just it's, it's intentional. Yeah, it's intentional. I think so. Yeah, I, I love it. This, I love it. She's a saboteur. Uh, that's energy. <laughs> uh, you are you ready to uh, get started with today's episode? Oh yeah, that's what we're doing right. Yeah, now. yeah, right. Because this, this was fun. Yeah. This was fun. We spent the we uh, first eight this. minutes. This what I think. I think maybe after seventy seven. That's what this turns into. <laughs> just lifestyle. We just, yeah, we just lifestyle blogs. Just do lifestyle. Recap the podcast. week. Yeah, you know that's not a bad no idea. One, no one cares enough. We're not. Yeah, I'm about we're say, not famous. Yeah, yeah. Nobody, nobody would care that much. <laughs> I, y'all don't have to answer that question. I get yeah, it. Yeah, right. Uh, but let's get let's get in tune, y'all. Let's, let's. get in tune. Mm. Yeah, there it is. There it there is. There it is. Uh, we are in West Pullman. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> we are in West Pullman, community area number 53. Yeah. 53. And here. I like that number. Yeah, 53. Yes. Do you, do you have a favorite number? Um, mm, nah. One, because that's what I am. Hey, let's go. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> that's the most ridiculous answer. Anyway. Do you want to know what my favorite number is? Let's do it. What 27. Is it? Actually, my 27? F- yeah. My, my, why? my favorite number is uh, 77, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to lie. That is yeah. that is my favorite number, 77. Yeah. yeah. I mean, shit, it done changed my life. Shit, that's hey. all I know. <laughs> Won't he do it? <laughs> Amen. Anyway, uh, wow. the boundaries wow. <laughs> to the north, What's going on? <laughs> 115th Street to the south, Little Calumet River to the east, Illinois Central Tracks to the west, Ashland and Halsted. Uh Why is it called Little Calumet? That's disrespectful. Oh, that's what it is. They put a uh, little bridges over <laughs> everything. <laughs> little. <laughs> uh, actually, uh, it, this is this has got some interesting stuff to it. Uh, mm-hmm. Got some interesting stuff to it. Here's so normally I do the name. And then the history, right? We, this kind of blurs together. So the area was started as an industrial and residential area uh, first. And in 1891, the West Pullman Land Association bought the old Morgan farm that used bridges to get over the Little Calumet River and developed it. Um, okay. Um, and then they wanted, so they wanted Pullman in the name 
for marketing reasons to attract people. Say. Yeah, to attract people here. Now, here's the catch: the University of Chicago sociologists made West Pullman a community area in the 20s, 1920s. So it went all this time not being community areas. And what fu- was it? Fun fact. West Pullman was made up of three individual communities before it was West Pullman. Uh, the community area, the the uh, communities were West Pullman, of course, uh, Kensington, which was known as a railroad town, uh, and then Gano, uh was was also was made out the three. Now, because West no. Pullman, yeah, because West Pullman area had the most identifiable uh, area and community. Um, like far as land, and you can tell what people are. Um, that's the name that they they went with, and it stuck. Interesting. Yeah. So pretty uh, fun history and uh, the name right there. So here's the thing: uh, in the 1920s, the population was over 20,000, right? Uh, and most of it was large industry, retail space, schools, and parks. And if you think about it, uh, what's next to it, Pullman? So and actually, this is south of Pullman, southwest of Pullman. Um, so, but a lot of people, residential, that whole area, Hegwish, uh, Roseland, all that area over there is like really industrial type yeah. of stuff. So, um, that's where a, a lot of the stuff was. That's what West Pullman was made up of. And, uh, International Harvester, and remember we talked about that in Hegwish, that became Navistar, which, which was one of the largest harvester, uh, agricultural mm-hmm. in the world. Um, that's, that was where people worked. Also, Carter White Lead Paint uh, was in there. And that was like a very big, uh, yeah, lead paint. Yeah, I mean, it's the 20s, you know. <laughs> it's, oh. it's the 20s. Keep that in mind. Uh, but now, shit, our apartment probably has lead yeah, paint. Yeah, for real, shit. Most, most places in Chicago. This got, shit is old as hell. Yeah, for real. Um, but here's a, here's a slight fun fact here. Uh, Carter White Lead Paint, um, they, ran, they left business. They business that failed. And guess what took over the business? Uh, what replaced Sherman them? Williams? No, uh, Dutch Boy Paint. Oh, replaced them. Uh, fun, funny you should say that about Sherman Williams. Uh, <laughs> keep that in mind um, for another episode. Oh, <laughs> for, wow. for another I'm episode, I'm not going to keep that in mind. You should. Oh, uh, the area was mostly white, like most <laughs> most of Chicago <laughs> was back in the day. Yeah. Um, the racial covenants, of course. <laughs> Polish, Irish, German. Uh, <laughs> Am I right? Uh, Scandinavian, oh, Armenian, yeah. you know, like all them. Uh, Lithuanian. Oh, everybody lives in the area, right? Except um, they had the racial covenants uh, for blacks, you know. Like, and, and if y'all don't know by now what racial covenants were, it's what the what was created to keep blacks out or, or scare whites into thinking that blacks were bad and they shouldn't and they be in the area. To drop the quality of yeah. the neighborhood. Yeah. So that's. So that's what the racial the covenants value. were. Yeah. Um, and so Kensington, which was one of the sub neighborhoods of the area, actually had 170 blacks in the in the area mm. in 1930. OK, uh, now here's obviously that's bad. But like in 1933, a black woman bought two uh, bought a two flat mm. uh, building and they black powder bombed her house. Exploded all in front of the house. Black powder? Yeah, just bombed it. They, they bombed the house. You know what I mean? Like, which is That's ridiculous. It's, it's ridiculous just because she moved to the area. You know what I'm saying? Can you imagine? Yeah. yeah I mean, no. No, I couldn't imagine. I I would have to. I don't know. Ain't no I, way I, I would have been would, able to live I, I would definitely end up in jail. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I would I would have been. I would have been on Channel 9 News. I would have <laughs> gone at the age of uh, whatever. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, because. And, and have cause, to fight, physically fight everyone. Yeah, cause of death. He wasn't having that bullshit. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's what I want to put on my grave. He he did not have that bullshit. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, yeah, if I'm going out, I'm going out great. Ain't no way. No Ain't way. no way. Ain't no way. I'm. I mean, like. I mean. I mean. Not to say that they like. Not to say it. that people put up with it. You right. Know what right. I mean? Right. Like, you, yeah. Right. 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 You know that's not what we say. Yeah. But, yeah. But like, it's just. Ooh, boy! I would have been an early going. <laughs> I would have been. Yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't have. Mm-mm. To have the. To, to have that bullshit happen yeah, yeah. no yeah no that's that's uh wow uh now here's this is where it gets even written more ridiculous okay this is this is ridiculous Wes pullman we talked about this a little bit um west pullman uh joined the fight against the cha uh alt gale gardens uh yeah yeah cha <laughs> the cha alt gale gardens in riverdale um 
you know, and then there's other other um, you know public housing that they fought against in Roseland. Um, but it's crazy that they joined the fight. They did not want the housing there, right? They didn't. They didn't want the housing. When we get to Roseland, you gonna understand, you know, like population wise, how why how and why. Primarily, it, you know, of course, it's black. You know, what I mean, this is white flight happened. You know, it's happening around this time. Blacks trying to move in. The black belt is being formed by Chicago. We've been pushed out. Um, we being black people are being pushed out. You know what I'm saying? So um, you'll find we'll find out more. But like, it's just crazy to think that um, they were like, "Nah, we're not going to stand for you know this." Yeah. this and the government had to step in because these racial covenants were were you know. In place, you know, they had put these, and it wasn't nothing legal. It was just what they were doing. You know what I'm saying? It was yeah. just, it was just what they were doing. Um, now, the population fell during the Great Depression, uh, but grew after uh, grew after the uh, World War II. Um, 1960, the population was 35,000, all white. Mm. Okay, so I mean, it, it, you know, 19. We talking 1960? Okay, we talking 1960. All white. Wow. Uh, and then some vacant land, 19, uh, 19 in the 1960s. The, again, y'all, keep this in mind. It's only 2000. It's 2022. Granted, granted, we 60 years away from the 60s. You know what I'm saying? That's not that much. That's my mom not, is 60. My dad's 62 this year. You know what I mean? Like, And it's, just keep that in mind. That's not a long time ago is what I'm trying to say. It absolutely not, is not a yeah. long time ago. In 1960s, some vacant land on the outskirts of uh, West Pullman started to open it up for blacks, <laughs> you know, in 1960. But again, not surprising. Gage Park, you know what I mean? We learned, right. we learned about it was just desegregated, integrated, you know, and, you know, like, so we, so this, it shouldn't be surprising, but I guess, I guess when you do this, because we are not that people. We honestly hope our listeners are not that people, um, that not, not those people, but what people, you know, you know, racism, like they, they deal with oh. it. That's what I'm trying to say. You know what I mean? Like, we, we hope I can't, but like, it's just, I, that's why I can't, we I can tell which, which ones of you are racist. <laughs> Stop it. Get out of here. We know. Yeah. There's one or two of you nah. <laughs> that have called us aggressive. Yeah. Right. They, they, don't, listen. they don't listen. They don't listen anymore. Yeah, they don't listen no more. But they're gone. This is our inner circle. Yeah, yeah this is yeah, our safe right. space. This I feel is. like I feel like we're at the point where our core listeners are like our safe space. Yeah, yeah. This you is know what yeah. I mean? This is we talking like, to y'all. That's why I be talking to them yeah, every week. Yeah, that's why I could say, man, fuck you. And nah, I feel like right. Like they ain't I'm mad. Talking to my yeah, yeah. friends, they ain't know? mad. Y'all ain't mad at that. Yeah, yeah. they probably saying I mean, it back to us. Are. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. They saying it back to you. Someone one day is going to come up to us because our public interactions so far have been very nice. People have been like. Oh my god, like so nice to see you all actually in real life. But one day someone's gonna come up to us and Pull up. cuss us out, and I'm gonna be shocked and confused. And they, they're gonna be like, you know what? I'm fucking sick and tired of y'all telling me to fuck off. <laughs> or someone's gonna tell me, man, fuck you. Yeah. And I'm gonna be like, oh my I god. Think, I think if they hit, if they if they did that in taste, we would probably yeah, laugh. Of course. We would laugh. We'd be like, oh, we get it. You have to listen to the podcast to get Touch it. Touch my pearls. Yeah, yeah. That you, <gasps> hey, look, I'm gonna tell y'all one thing. Y'all pull up on me in the streets and y'all say that, be prepared to fight. Yeah, be prepared and, and to be fight. Be prepared to be like, it's just a joke. <laughs> <laughs> I listen to the podcast. Okay, I'd be like, okay, okay. No, but you're not that quick to react. You probably. She, what? <laughs> I feel like you're you're a lot more. I got, I got, look, I got maybe three, four seconds of yeah. me like in pure <laughs> shock, like before I come to, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Shock All I'm saying, y'all, is don't y'all dare. No. Nah. Anyway, <laughs> anyway uh, you could say that to me in public, and I'll laugh. Yeah, your man. Yeah, well, we'll, well see. Well, yeah, depends. <laughs> <All right. on> the- <laughs> depends. Anyway, we we way off track. Uh, so we we're talking about the '60s. Some vacant land started opening up to the blacks uh, in West Pullman. Uh, eventually, in eight by eight nineteen eighty, y'all take a shot. Sarah been yawning. I did not yawn. That was yeah, a deep breath. Man. Okay, uh, but uh, you, I missed a burp. I I heard you. No, 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 no. no I no. heard you, and then you held one in. I caught. No, that. Look at it. it was just delayed, <laughs> delayed. It don't count. You got to call it out in the moment, man. Uh, and anyway. editing. <laughs> Future Dario, call yourself out. I ain't doing that. Don't listen to it, Future Dario. <laughs> uh, eventually, by 1980 and 1990, uh, 45,000 of the residents were black. Mm. What, uh, do you know what percentage that was? Um. I don't. I don't know. I mean, 
I think if I had to say we're talking 95, 90, 98 percent mm-hmm. are black. Now, here's the other thing that we didn't talk about because it was a big industry, uh, a lot of industry in that area. Industrial. Industrial. It's a very industrial area, right? So <laughs> a lot of factories and shit like that. And they had like waste and lead and all that kind of stuff that was there. So when the business, st- when the le- when the business starts shutting down, uh, when they start shutting down and shit like that, nobody cleaned that up, right? Nobody, just- yeah, nobody cleaned that up. So while population is going through its racial change and population boom, you got this waste from these buildings that are just like sitting Ain't there. That a bitch. Yeah, right. It's it's crazy. Um, and so that so now you, you fighting that, right? You fighting that, and I read. Uh, that uh, well, you know, I read that it's it's not a not how do I say this? It's not like one of the poorer, you know, like the, you know, like um, more poor com- community areas. But it's it is it's kind of like mixed, right? It's it's like mixed because like it is still industrial, you know what I'm saying? People still work and things like that in the surrounding areas, and that that's what the area is known for. But you know, like like all the stories, how they end, uh, they didn't do blacks well, so. That that's kind of like the, that's the ending point of what I'm trying to say. So, um, and I, I took the long way around. Okay, I took the long way. Yeah. I took the long way around. You said yeah, yeah, you did, yeah, you did. <laughs> I mean, um, yeah. Well, that's that's all I got to say about that. <laughs> wow, that was a good ending. That was a What's good. What's up ending. with you and these abrupt endings? Look, you know, I, that's that's my whole thing. I don't know why you took that. Yeah, you know well, I mean, it's not the end of the and show. I don't I'm, appreciate. No, I'm just saying. It. I'm no, just, just in general. I feel like I've trademarked. The abrupt ending on this show kind of did, but you fell off, and you just took because you take take it over. Here's the thing. Here's no, the thing. no thing. No, no, no. Here's the thing. All the old heads out there, because we see the demographic, we know some of y'all out there. Uh, I'm talking to my uh, forty and up club. <laughs> y'all realize when when you get older, you just you just you don't have to explain it. You just stop. You just stop whenever you want to. Wow. And that's you're not even that. I'm old. not even. I'm not even. I'm, I'm like, 38. I feel like 40s is not old. It's not old, so but stop like acting like old it's people. still a mentality, though. It's still your mentality. Change it. <laughs> it's Be, just, do better. Look, all my old heads out here stand with me. You know what I'm saying? When we get to a certain age, we ain't no. try. We do. We want to do. No, that's no. Nope. <laughs> yeah. Don't, what you mean? Don't don't push this this toxic male agenda. Uh, okay. Male. It's ladies out there that be doing the same shit. That's not the. That's not what we're talking about. What are we talking about? Don't all lives matter me? Okay? What? What you mean? <laughs> okay. Oh, come on. Okay. Oh, don't do what? that. Don't, don't do, do that. I ain't do that. You just you said a man. Yeah. yeah it ain't that's, that's what I'm talking about right now. Well, I, I'm not. I'm talking about everybody that be just getting tired. Old heads. Old heads encompass men and women. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, don't be toxic. <laughs> That's ages. <laughs> that's ages. That's but ages. like reverse. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Anyway, did Look, we eat? I braided the cord. You braided the cord. You bored as hell. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. Yeah, you, you didn't like none of that shit I was no, talking no, about. No. Honestly, okay, so all I did today at work was invoice <laughs> for eight hours. Yeah, I was just bullshit. looking at an Excel sheet. Yeah, that's some bullshit. So to be honest, the fact that I ha- still have any brain cells just functioning is <laughs> really impressive. Yeah. Yeah, that is that is that is quite impressive. Yeah, and I went to bed really late last night because I was watching this new show on Netflix called Mo. Um, Everybody talking about that. Yeah, so he's he's a Palestinian, um, and his his parents left Palestine during the war and went to Kuwait, <coughs> and then um, escaped Kuwait and came to the United States on uh, asylum. I've, I've seen we seen him. Uh, we perform. saw him live at Zanies. At Zanies yeah. I've seen him uh, perform a couple times. Yeah, and uh, we, he has a couple of uh, specials on Netflix. He was in Dave Chappelle's camp, so he's he's pretty. I think he's pretty good. I think he tells he's very his, good. He tells the story of like Palestinians in the United States very well, or Arabs in general mm. that left the Middle East and came to the states. Um, and this show is basically like the story of his family. That was pretty dope. Um, so, you know, if you want to support and watch the show, it's actually really good. It's only like eight or nine episodes and they're 20 minute episodes. So I watched the whole thing yesterday. Netflix, holler at us. <laughs> Not, holler at us, Netflix. Yeah. We pl- we are here plugging you. Yeah, well, I mean, I'm su- we're supporting Mo. We support Mo. That's right. I mean, yes, Netflix also. Yeah, like, right. I about to say. I really, really like Netflix. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, but. Time yeah. for the food. Why'd you cut me off like that? I, it's just, we, he ain't paying us. <laughs> yeah, but. We like to support people. That's true. That are doing 
great things. That's true. But I'm hungry. <laughs> That's fair. Ready? Yep. Hey, hey, welcome back hey. to the uh, food portion of the episode. Hey. Um, this... This week, yeah, this week yeah. we were in uh, West Pullman. Uh, well, j- just this. Well, we we just talked about it. Yeah, yeah, right. Five seconds ago. Right, right. Yeah, we were. Yeah, we we right. We are it's still in West oh, Pullman yeah. ish. Well, adjacent. <laughs> yeah, um, West Pullman, a little more east. But uh, today's uh, food, yeah, uh, is Sultan's Market. Right. Uh, do, so, do the, do yeah, the drop. Yeah. Do the drop. Yeah, so uh, this portion of the episode is brought to you by Choose Chicago, and uh, we went to Sultan's Market. Yeah. Uh, which is in. Lakeview. Lakeview. And um yeah, let's talk about it. So you uh so you, what I went did there. you think? I went there. So it's really dope. Um it's like a buffet style. Uh also. So if you've never been but to Salt Market. You don't serve yourself, they serve for you. No, no, no. They I think you can serve yourself. Oh, That's okay. what it looks like. You pay and then if you want the buffet, it's you like pay. It's like a for market, it. like a right, like market. a market, right. Yeah. Yep. They got the food laid out there. You kind of mm-hmm. see you see the pictures right there. I got the video going. Okay. Um uh, but it, it's really dope. Um, I went. There, I was like the first one there. Yeah, so yeah, there at ten in the morning. In the they morning. Open at ten in the yeah, morning. Yeah, yeah. And I got um the the lady there. I forgot her name. She's actually from Jordan. Hey. Uh, and so she was proud that she made it all and everything like that. But um, very nice. It's, it's small, compact. Uh, like I said, the buffet is in the middle. You go to the back. As soon as you walk in, you walk to the back. Um, not far, but you walk towards the back. Uh, and that's where you order food to go, right? Or if you right, want something right. that they have like there. Meal. Yeah. yeah to, uh, if you want to order something different. Um, but yeah, I mean, it was really cool, man. She was nice. The the staff was nice. There was only yeah. one person, two people there that were staff, and they were unloading, you know, getting the bread for the right. day. Uh, they didn't have some of the food made because they just Stand opened, you know? <laughs> um, you know yeah. what's funny is that is one of the very few places that I actually constantly get an ad for on my Facebook. Oh, really? And I think it's uh, racially targeted. Uh, <laughs> so they, they, <laughs> they, they know who you know are. Who yeah, they know I am and where I'm from, and they're yeah. like, she's going to fall That's why, that's why I be getting Nike and Jordan corner. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> they trying to appropriate yeah. Yeah. Anyway, um, um, but, but the we food. Had, we had the mixed uh, grill, yeah. uh, com- like mixed grill meal uh, that comes with Two skew- two things of of kofta. When if you don't know what kofta is, it's kind of like a meatball, but like m- Middle Eastern seasoned meatball. Yeah. Um, and then it comes with beef and chicken shawarma, and the rice is um what we call um damn how did you, I forget this? Yeah, I don't know. This you take uh, pull wow. your Jordanian card. Wow, this is terrible. But it's <laughs> rice with lentils. Uh, so lentil rice. Shit. Yeah, that's what I think she said to me. Yeah. Uh, and then it comes with tabbouleh, which is a salad that is mainly mainly made with parsley. Yeah. Parsley. Nasty. So you can't no, even no. taste it. Wow. So, wow. I, mean, <laughs> I can't even say it's then, nasty. Uh, you can't taste it. Um, uh, and then a side of hummus. Okay. It was good. It was really good. The, you know, what they do very well there. Um, a is all, That's the name of the There video. you go. There you go. Give yourself a coin wow. for that one. Uh, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. We'll, we'll figure out the okay. coin later. <laughs> um, but uh, so she's authentic, right? She's from Georgia. Right. She, was, she was actually FaceTime family member while I was there yeah. from Georgia. So the food. Is fantastic. The yeah. meat, the chicken, lamb, all of that was like yeah. done perfect. But what they, I don't know if this is a normal thing, um, but it was very spicy. And it's not very spicy, but it was enough spice. Oh, seasoned, yes. you mean? <laughs> or like spicy, like. No, no, no. Hot? It was, no, I mean like spicy. Like, like it was like, like hot. Yeah, yeah, like, okay. but it was like, it wasn't overbearing. It was like yeah. perfect. We called it shutta, which is like our, okay. uh, it's like a That's chili like, paste. Shut the what up? <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. Wow. Uh, no, but it was good. It was very, it was very good. Mm-hmm. And I don't, th- I don't think I had that before because it stood up to me. Yeah. It stood, stood out to me. Yeah, it stood out. <laughs> it stood up. It stood up. <laughs> <laughs> so it's been a long day. It's been a huge, boy. Y'all can to hear about it yeah. in a second but um also what we had uh also uh i had because yeah. your boy was hungry uh <laughs> so i so i ate before i came back to the crib mm-hmm. uh i had the uh, chicken shawarma yeah and what did you think fa- fantastic amazing f- amazing it yeah. was um so i had the spice on that too and it was spicier because it's more right. concentrated right. um and let me tell you that was it was it was early in the morning, so we had the crispy edges on yep. the outside. So we some of the yep. bite was like crispy. You could t- it was on the rotating thing. 
smacking. Like, yeah. honestly, almost wanted to go back later today and, and was like, more. to get more. But I was like, we literally about to get on the plane. <laughs> so so I was like, let's let's not do this. Let's, yeah. Uh, but uh, it was fantastic. Y'all, if y'all haven't gone to um, uh, Salt's Market, check it out. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. honestly, it is... Uh, it's it's like a must have. People people know about it. They, I guess yeah, it ain't yeah, nothing. Yeah. Like, but like, if you on the south side, if you on the west side, if you just a north side that don't go outside, <laughs> yeah, that's fair. You know, like you need to do it. You For need sure. to check this out. For sure. What do you think about the food? I know I kind of find us off. It's but. great. I loved it. Uh, the mjadara, it's we make it in a very particular way. Yeah. And it's very very simple. It's like it's called like a poor poor man's food because it's you get a lot of protein, but there's no actual meat in it. Mm. I don't like that saying, but that's what they would say to us growing up. <laughs> that's they would call it a poor man. Well, um, then I hope that's not what she's. Yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah, I mean, I loved it. It was really good. I ate the whole thing. Yeah, so. <laughs> that's what she said. Wow. Right. Um, anyway, no, it was appropriate. It, well, it is very considering where we are. You know what? Let's jump into it. Y'all go check out Soul's Market. Uh, but obviously, y'all, the, the cat's out of the bag. Uh, we are here in Cairo. Uh, Egypt. Hey. Uh, before we before we get going, I want to I want to do like a reset uh, because this is different. Uh, yes. This is a different. So y'all back from commercial. Y'all, yeah, we we got to come back from commercial. Let's uh, let's get in tune. All right, let's get in tune because I got some facts. <laughs> look at, look that, at that was like the funnest thing for you is to find a, a sound that, that goes with that was with the, this area with the area uh uh so yes we are in cairo egypt and you probably wonder what the hell are y'all doing uh on the podcast with from cairo egypt uh nothing we, we just went we don't take days off we don't take days off we went to uh we 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 on vacation and not in like a toxic way we don't yeah. take days off but we we're having fun we having fun yeah and it's fun we were th- we are literally recording on the balcony of our hotel with the nile river the nile river River behind is behind us. us. Uh, so, and also keep in mind, we had to do something special for episode seventy-seven. Yes. So, like, don't yes. forget this episode seventy-seven. And of course, we uh, we we taking this thing worldwide, baby. Hey, <laughs> um, yeah, this is our pitch. This is our pitch. <laughs> you know, anybody out there listening, we could do this. We do yeah, this. We and travel. We do it anywhere. We travel. We, we mobile. Uh, yeah. But I, I got some fun facts. You ready to hear some? Oh, yeah, best, ready. Have some fun facts. I'm ready. Cairo, Egypt, y'all. Um, this is the land of the pharaohs and the pharaohs and the kings. Hey. Um, uh, the so. How's the, how does it tie into Chicago? I do have a Chicago tie. Very small really? when I'll be, but I got okay. a Chicago tie. Okay. Um, so architecture, Chicago is big in architecture, yep. right? Uh, the architectural style here that is influenced around the, around the country, the world, mm-hmm. actually, is called um, Egyptian Revival. Right. Okay? And we have a couple structures here in Chicago um, that are, you know, part of that. Uh, okay. You know, and there's a bunch, of, bunch around the world. New York. Uh, DC, the Lou and uh, the Lorf. The Lorf. <laughs> the Lorf. <laughs> the Lou. The Lou. <laughs> the Lorf. The Lorf. I think this is fresh people off more than the, mispronouncing their the, shit. Yeah, you pronounce, you pronounce that R. They, 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 <laughs> the they Lorf. Pissed off. Uh, but so so it's called Archite- um, Egyptian Revival. Yeah. And here in Chicago, there is a building that is uh, part of that. Wow. Um, uh, the Reby Storage Warehouse, uh, located at 22. Uh, 2325 North Clark Street in Lincoln Park. Um, it was created by William and John Reby, who are brothers. Uh, they wanted to design something that was Egyptian revival style. Um, now, mm. it's, a, it's a warehouse, so it has essentially nothing to do with Egypt. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> it has nothing to do. They just liked the. Uh, they just liked it, right? Yeah. Um, now, the cool thing is it was uh, the architects behind it were George Kinsley and sculptor uh, Fritz Albert. Uh, he designed, they designed the exterior. He designed the exterior. And the significance with the exterior is that if you go to this building, right, it's a, it's Egyptian. It's undeniably Egyptian. Uh, is it Egyptian. Really? Yes, undeniably. Okay. Like uh, the pictures are right here. Uh, and it's, it's Egyptian. I don't. I want to stress that you can. Right. You can't. You can't miss it. But the two figures on the side of the door, the two men there, um, they are sculptures of King Ramsey, uh, Pharaoh Ramsey the second. Yeah. Okay. And the reason why they use Ramses the second because most people use the uh, third. Yeah, yeah, King Tut. Oh, they, King they, Tut. they use King Tut as yeah, the yeah. as the as the one. But this was created. Months before King Tut was found. Wow. Yes. Yeah, so, so this building was created back in 1922, uh, and King Tut was found in November of 1922. Yeah. So, just a few months before this was built, that's crazy. They found King Tut. So they didn't have King Tut as the figure. 
to wow. go off of. Yeah, so uh, pretty cool. Uh, and uh, that's so if you look at that, you see the figures. That's Ramsey's a second, wow. not King Tut. Yeah, uh, and and like I said, they want to use Ram. Uh, you know, they want to they used them because they didn't have a frame reference. Right. Now, it was listed. Get this: that building is actually listed on the National Registry of Historic Places. As of 1979. Wow. And something really cool, uh, I went out there on the day it, you know, what, 23 years to the day. Wow. Uh, it was September 1st. It was made a Chicago landmark, September 1st, 1999. So here we are, y'all. Uh, what, wow. what a coincidence. Uh, 23rd anniversary of that building. So if you want to see some architectural revival, go out there. Check it out. Egyptian revival. Egyptian, yeah. Egyptian uh, revival. Go check yeah, it out. Yeah. Now, um, yeah, go ahead. No, no. I was going to say, you, we, we're in Cairo, was, so we're going to talk about it. I was going to say that a lot of the architecture here is, in, is um, obviously the French and the British, huge presence in Egypt mm -hmm. up until the middle of the 20th century um, and when, you know, they had their revolution, but a lot of the buildings are also based off of French and uh, French architecture. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of French influence. You can tell. So, which again is something they have in common with Chicago. Chicago, yep. you know, is mapped based off of Paris. Paris. So, there we go. <laughs> um, so, you know, there's there's some links there. Look at, the look at us, not just. We leave, also met someone at the airport that was Chicago that, yeah, from Chicago. Boom. You know what I mean? In like, the in the airport look, look, on our way here. Look so at us. Not, look at not the Chicago airport. All right, we're not that stupid. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah. The airport in Jordan. Yeah, yeah. But uh, look at us. Time. Chicago back to yeah. this. Um, but let's talk about Cairo. Let's talk yeah, about Cairo. Because yeah, yeah. right now, uh, currently, uh, you can see in the backdrop, if you are watching this, that uh, tall tower right there in the middle is uh, the Cairo Tower. Yep. Um, so they do. A, we're going to be there uh, later on tonight because that's where the uh, Khan Khalili. Khan Khalili, yeah. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Uh, uh, Bazaar is down there. And yep. it's uh, very Pretty world famous bazaar, yes. so we're gonna we're gonna go there uh, later see on tonight. Some cool pictures, see some cool. Yeah, you cool check pictures. our Instagram, you'll see some cool pictures. Yeah, from, check it out. Our trip. Yeah, yeah. Um, actually, you, you can, we we can't we can't tell you to check yeah. it out because we are seven hours ahead of you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> throughout the week, we'll we'll post some yeah. stuff. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Kind of, yeah, kind of go. Trip. Um, but we are located in old Cairo. Yes, so we're in old Cairo. Yeah. Um, and if you're unfamiliar, Cairo had um had some political de-stress to <laughs> say the least yeah. uh, to put it in, in common words I don't want to give a history lesson here yeah, not yeah. that this is a history podcast right um, <laughs> oh I got more history I know but um, but yes yeah, so it, there was some political unrest and the, the city basically the country really went through a lot um, and now they're starting to kind of come back. They're trying, starting to revive. Uh, obviously, COVID affected them a lot. Now they suddenly have a, an influx of tourists. Yeah. Um, and so, you know, where was I going with this? I don't know. But uh, you you were on fire, though. I get it. So, yeah, I mean, it's a busy city. It's busy. a city of 20. You said 22 million. Yeah. So there you go. It's 22 million people. In, in this city, in the city I, I don't, of Cairo, I don't think y'all understand. Twenty-two. We Chicago's are three. Chicago is three. This Two is literally seven. this. Is, <laughs> this is twenty-two million people. Yeah. So it's it's busy, but yes, I was I was saying old Cairo. Yeah. What I was saying, right? Yeah. So we're we are in old Cairo, um, but as the city is kind of re reviving itself, they're building. Uh, newer parts of the city to kind of accommodate the growing population and and people. Unfortunately, Cairo is one of those cities where there's um, a lot of difference in economic classes. So you yeah. have people that are extremely yeah. wealthy and then people that aren't. And there's no middle. And you can see that. Uh, but the new parts of the city are also being built. So there's... Um, New Cairo, New Giza, yeah. which is where the pyramids are. Yeah, and just to give y'all some context, uh, yeah. we are, if we cross over the, the, the Nile River, we are in Giza. Yeah. Uh, so uh, that's where the pyramids are, the Great Pyramids of Giza. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, yeah, so we are literally yeah. like right in the middle here. Yeah. Um, something really cool uh, that that I that I think people should should know. Um, uh, you see, you kind of see like the, you know. Like the, the boats in the in the water and things like this is the Nile River. Keep that in mind. Like, and uh, one more history lesson: uh, it's the only river in the world that goes uh, south, south to north, north, aside from the <laughs> Chicago River. <laughs> let me get there myself. Let me get myself a coin for that. Hey, <laughs> a bag of coins. Yeah, a bag of coins for that one. Uh, but uh, but so so if you look here, this is like really their their lifeline. Ninety sure. ninety percent 
of, I think it's 90 or 95 percent of the population lives along the Nile River. Yes. Which and, is I absolutely mean, crazy yeah. for 22 million people. Yeah. And also, like, civilization started at rivers. So you have right. the Tigris and the Euphrates in modern day Iraq. You have the Nile River that runs through in, um, a lot of Africa. Yeah. Um, which were ancient Egypt. You know what, what fact blows my mind, and this is completely unrelated, is that the Romans studied the Egyptians as ancient history. Yeah, that's crazy. That's crazy. That's how and old we it is. we study the Romans as ancient history. Yeah, right. You know what I'm saying? But speaking of ancient history, uh, we went to the ancient history. Oh, yeah. yeah. We went to the pyramids. Went I know. Pyramids. If y'all, y'all want, y'all, if y'all still listen to it, you want to hear about it. You, yeah, yeah, we went we to the pyramids. pyramids. We went to the pyramids. Yeah, climbed I up went the, inside. I went inside. Let me tell you, it is, it's 90. Seven degrees outside yeah. here. It's it like was two hundred degrees. It was two hundred degrees inside that pyramid, yeah. and on top of that, you have to climb up probably the most narrowest yeah. walkway. Yeah. Not even a walkway. It's a climb way. I, yeah. <laughs> you know, it's just a step. Just wood step with like wood yeah. planks to help push you along. Yes. You know what I mean? And you have to stay arched. If you are tall, you might as well be on your knees. Yeah. I was. I was like damn near on my knees. If you look at my Instagram story. It was a problem. Yeah. I mean, I got to the top, and it was obviously it was really cool because the the uh, funeral room that's what it is. Yeah. These are funeral homes, uh, <laughs> essentially. Uh, right. Um, there was the, obviously it's empty, right? You know, like the uh, the uh, tomb is empty, but you can go up in there. I got video. You weren't supposed to because <laughs> they took the camera. You had to keep right. my camera. Um, but uh, I got video of it inside of there. You know, on my story. It. It's really dope to say I was yeah, up inside yeah. the pyramid. You know what I mean? Like all the way to the top. Like all it's as, as high as you go. A few thousand years old. Yeah, yeah, just a few thousand. And it look it look and smell old in that bad yeah, boy. Let yeah. me tell you. And you know, it could be all the uh, sweaty ass bodies moving through there. You know what I mean? It could be just It's also very old. Yeah, very old. I mean, like dead bodies yeah. were in there. You know what's what's <laughs> insane? There's a there's a thing that says uh can, that says there's uh the curse of the pharaoh. Yeah. And it's believed that anyone that like inflicts any sort of damage to the tombs of the pharaohs or the like their the sarcophagus the tomb, yeah, or yeah. whatever they they're cursed so yeah. people have like k killed themselves yeah, that's and uh they say that the um the titanic yeah. had um like egyptian shit on it and that's why it sank Oh boy, that's conspiracy theory. It was like theory. stolen, like it was stolen and then sold to the British, and then mm. they were, yeah. Nah, they, the, the British took everything. They so. did. They did. They just came in here, like we'll take, we'll take they this. Did. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Speaking of taking, we took uh, transportation <laughs> around here. Stop it. Well, like, this, <laughs> let me tell you, if you've never been to Egypt, uh, it's a cultural shock. It, it's cultural of all culture. I say, come here for one. Just come here, of course. Uh, come here, uh, but the driving. Is off the charts yeah. here. Like yeah. they, these are the world's worst drivers. No, they're the world's best drivers. Actually, I was if just I'm about to say, honest. yeah, yeah, they so bad they great. Yeah, like they, they, it is. They are great drivers because like there's there's some roads that have lines on them that they don't arbitrary. abide. Arbitrary, arbitrary. They Not don't mean unusable. Nothing. Unusable. They don't matter if a, if it's a three lane road. It is a four lane road. Correct. You 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 get to where you need to go. Ain't no laws. Ain't no rules. You can cut off a cop. Yes. Like this, I, we were so scared in that damn Uber. All the taxis that we did took Uber, and then we took a we took a horse we drawn took, carriage. We took a horse the streets. You know, right where the pyramids and are. When I say in horse Giza. drawn, I mean one horse drawn. One carriage. horse <laughs> going one horse one horsepower is what it had. He, the 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 guy that uh, drive drove the thing called it an Egyptian Ferrari. Yeah, Egyptian Ferrari. We we was in there like pharaohs and king and queens. We was you know because I was sitting on edge. My booty was like starting to cheek was starting to fall asleep. <laughs> My hip was slightly displaced, <laughs> and all I'm looking at this horse ass right in front of me, wow. just galloping. You know what I mean? It, it was galloping. It, 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 like that is probably the biggest thing to me. Yeah. Also, if you come here with uh, any kind of electronics and equipment, camera, just be, be prepared. Pre be prepared to get stopped pretty much everywhere you go. Yes. Everywhere you go, yeah. multiple times too. Which is, yes. you know, I, you know, I was for telling security reasons. For security I mean, reasons, I was telling you, it, that's okay. Yeah, that was fine. I was, I, it was annoying. Don't get me wrong, but like, I get it. You know, what I mean, these are their rules. You know, these yes. are their rules. We in their country, uh, in they in they city, we gotta do what they gotta do. Right. You know what I mean? But, right. um, but just be prepared for that. Uh, <laughs> the food. What do you think about the food? Because this is, uh, is more... Oh, you know what? Here, one more fun fact. Okay. Uh, one more fun fact, uh, y'all. Uh, this is the world's largest um, congregation or city with uh, the most Arabs in it. Number one really? Arab city in the world. Yeah, yeah. We're oh, coin. Yep. yep. There you okay. go. Another coin. Right. 
Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, yeah. I'm, I'm out here. I'm out here. I, look, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay, Aladdin. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Okay, you know <laughs> Aladdin. Okay. Little, um, little money satchels. What I got here? Uh, let me, I'll give you a coin for that one. <laughs> okay. I'll take it. Um, that, that coin got some base in it. You hear that? Man. <laughs> uh, but no, it, it, so what I was going with that, the food is, is if y'all don't know, because you think Cairo, Africa, if you, if you have no clue, this is a very Arabic, pretty much. Yes. A hundred percent, I want to say. Yeah, there's a few, you know what I mean? But uh, Arabic land. I mean, there's writing on the buildings. There's yeah. Arabic on the buildings. There's Arab, Everything is Arabic. So, which, if you didn't know that. Now you well, know. Now you know. Um, the I more you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> I just want to do that. Um, but I knew that because I've done a shit ton of research right. on uh, on uh, Egypt, but in Cairo. So. Uh, what do you think about the food? We had a, we so far we had a lot of food. We're going to eat more. We've had a lot of food. Uh, I like I like the food. I wouldn't come to Cairo for the culinary scene you come personally. For the pyramids. Uh, yeah, I think uh, food in Egypt is very like um, for sustainability. I f- you know mm, what I mean? That's a good. Like that's people a very good eat point. for sustenance. It's not necessarily like for enjoyment. Yeah, you're not coming here to and be like, oh man, I had the best. They have they have great restaurants. Don't right, get me wrong. Right. Like they have a, they have great restaurants, but they're only accessible for the alt for the ultra rich. Right. And so the average person isn't eating there every right. single day. Right. Um, as opposed to like Chicago, where you can you can get like you a f- like a five seven dollar meal and it will be like amazing. Fantastic. You know right. what yeah. I mean? Yeah. So that I feel like that's the difference. Um, again, the food is good, but in comparison with Arab, other Arab countries, I personally, my personal opinion, it does not, it does not. You, you would know. You know what I mean? You would like know. the food in Jordan is incredible. Um, the food in Syria and Lebanon, amazing. Even like the countries around the Gulf with all the spices, because that's where like all the spice trade happened and yeah. stuff like that. I just think it's the food there is. Yeah. Personally, but, I think it's better. I, but I think you said it right though. Like this is not, you're not here to eat you know what i mean you're here to right, see the pyramids right. you're here to see egypt you're here to see archaeology yeah. you're here to see old ancient stuff right but i mean it's not bad it's, it's not bad like, uh and then you know it is kind of a party town you know what i mean like it's, very it's, much it's, 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 party it's a very nightlife uh city it is live yes it is live yeah people like we, like we went to bed at like what almost midnight last night yeah. and the, the nightclub across the street from us was like yeah just laser light yeah just just <laughs> going and they be partying on the boats i don't know if yeah. y'all can see the 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 the, the boat, the, boat they got a us. they got a light up fountain in the middle of the uh, yeah. in the middle of the Nile River. It is yeah, just crazy. So the, uh, um, fountain in the middle of the Nile. Who's who said who was like you know what you we know what this you know right what this here. river needs some light <laughs> and, and, and spewing water and spewing water randomly out of probably it. got alligators. Yeah, yeah. We we really close to where we this might see an alligator tomorrow on the little tour. Dude. You know what we if we do and it it come near that boat. No, no. I turn to Michael Phelps real quick. <laughs> um. That, that's pretty much so far, you know, all we've done. I mean, we, which is a lot, we a which lot. was a lot. Um, but I do want to say we did go to the uh, the museum. We saw King Tut. Uh, mm-hmm. We saw King Tut and all his stuff and all, everybody else, all his little homies. Uh, all his little homies. <laughs> the mummies and everything. The, the King Tut thing is probably the most unreal. Yeah. Like looking at that. I could see why that was such a huge find. Right. They say that that was the greatest um, discovery of the 20th century. Right. And I would believe it because, like, all the you know, untouched, untouched for thousands of years, yeah. two, three thousand years, more, you know, more, you know, and and have you know, the, we saw the bus. You can't take pictures. Actually, <laughs> and, I don't know when he was. Yeah, it, I think it's about two and twenty five hundred yeah, years. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, you absolutely cannot take pictures. You can't take no pictures. They made me delete the one that I did. I walked in glossy eyed and everything. Oh my god, there it is, King Tut. He was like, hey, 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 no pictures. Take delete that. Delete and he, that. He, he came up and, and watched you and delete watched it. me delete it. I was going to lie. You were about to finesse it. I was about to finesse like a motherfucker. Boy. Oh, I know. I was, I was about to finesse. Um, but, uh, you know, so it was really dope. But the really cool thing is seeing how good yes. all that stuff is. Yeah. And, and this is stuff that I researched. Right. And I seen them do talking about that. it. And now I'm seeing it in real life. Yeah. Like yeah. his mask, that mask Crazy. is pure gold. Yes. And it looked like pure gold. And you could you could look and see. And we went to the museum, obviously you could see the hieroglyphics, you know, like the stuff that's preserved. There's and a lot in that. It's that museum has hundred and twenty thousand items 120, to view. That's crazy. Um from different 
parts of s- different years throughout the the reign of the uh, the pharaohs. pharaohs. Yeah, the different ages. You right, know what I mean? Right. Like 18th century, 18 18th dynasty. That's the best one. You know what I mean? That's favorite. That's my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> I personally, you know, that's my favorite. Yeah. Uh, Fuck with that one. You know, I wasn't I wasn't messing with the New Egypt. You know what I mean? Like I wasn't. <laughs> it, it got boring after. Yeah, that. yeah. The New Egypt, you like, yeah, 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 whatever. Yeah. <laughs> sure. Um, New Egypt got boring, but like that 18th. The curse of that pharaoh. He's gonna know, be like, what do you mean I was boring? You know, like Ramses. It was first of all, it's like I don't know if y'all know, but it's like. Ten Ramses. Uh, they just had yeah. no, yeah, because he was. After, I mean, people married their siblings. Yeah, and shit. the first couple before the Ramses that actually everybody know um, is is really dope. Something else, Ten Commandments, the movie Ten Commandments. I don't know if y'all seen it. Um, they depict Ramses. Uh, you mean the movie with all the people in brown face? Yeah, yeah, right. Pretty, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. Uh, Charles the Heston movie. If y'all don't know, which is a which is a classic here yeah. in Chicago. I mean, not Chicago, but in the United States. Yeah. Um, Anyway, I, the the history behind that, you know, they say Ramses was the one that Moses was um, like going against. Hmm. But if you go through Egyptian history, it wasn't Ramses. This happened before that, really? before Ramses. So they, uh, uh, I think after Ramses, but nonetheless, it wasn't Ramses who should have been in that movie. There was another pharaoh, wow. but because Ramses was such a big yeah, name, yeah. They, they were like, like nobody gonna know. Yeah, right. Let's use him. But if they, when you do the research, and when they did more research, you know, because that movie's old as hell, made in the twenties, I believe, um, or something. No, is it that old? Maybe, maybe not twenties. You know, maybe the sixties. Maybe the sixties. Yeah, right. Sixties. Um, but you know, who knows the knowledge that they got from that? You know what I mean? Like, so. I mean, but like they they know Jewish history. Right, but I mean, but I mean, I guess when you when you keep reading these Hollywood high re- doesn't give a fuck is what it is. When you keep <laughs> Hollywood right. does not give a fuck. Everybody <laughs> they, going, you know, they don't wearing give blackface and now. brown face. They did not give a shit. What, they were what like, was, we're gonna tell these stories. However, what, whatever what, was gonna sell. Who these was it? Movies. Russell Crowe. Uh, he was a uh, he was in um uh that uh, the movie about Jesus. <laughs> what was? Stop it. Stop. Stop. Anyway, Jesus is brown, y'all. You know what I'm saying? In case you don't know, you, one more thing before we get out of here, which is really cool. We saw the equivalent to Rosetta Stone. There's only few in the yeah. world, and we saw one of the one yes. that is considered just as great because Rosetta Stone is the, the greatest. greatest the greatest of them all but this one was really yeah, it's dope pretty, it's pretty good it's uh, and if you don't know what that is uh, and you thought the Rosetta Stone was just the name of the app uh, <laughs> it's actually <laughs> it's actually um, or maybe you checked out those DVDs from the library <laughs> to learn to learn, to learn a language to learn. Um, or you listen to Apple when they'd be yeah. like we, you can code with a Rosetta <laughs> anyway <laughs> It's basically the reason we know how to read Coptic, which is the language of the pharaohs, and like know what uh, the hieroglyphs, glyphs, I don't know how to mean, say that. Hieroglyph, in English, hieroglyphs. Yeah. Uh, what they mean is because they translated it into Greek, and because there was an overlap between Greek and um, ancient Egyptians. And so they wrote it down, and they etched it into these stones. Right. And that's the only reason that we, we know. know what it means. And part of the stone. Part of each one of the stones is broken off, so we don't actually know what everything means. Right. Um, but it's yeah, I mean, dope. without it, we wouldn't know a lot of the history. Yeah. It's it's what's really cool though is that we were right in front. Yeah, that was and crazy. saw it with our that own eyes. Crazy. We saw Rosetta Stone without. I didn't. Own, I didn't think I would one. ever. I would ever see that. that. Yeah, I mean, like that. I, the whole museum. If you ever out in Egypt, yeah. is one of the if things you, you must. Of, if you ever out in the neighborhood, you have, you have an area just. Uh, you know. Well, if you, if you, I, I would say if you enjoy uh, Egyptian ancient Egyptian history, I would say this is definitely a trip that that's worth making. Yeah, um, this was this was a bucket list yeah, for me. This was yeah. definitely I mean, a bucket if, list. Honestly, if you're flying direct to Cairo, the ticket is six hundred dollars. Wasn't bad. Which, in comparison with flying into other parts of the world that are that far, right. Right. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. Of course, you know. Of course, it might take some time to save up enough to take a decent trip, but you know. Yeah, yeah. I mean, y'all get out here. Thousand dollars, you'll be good <laughs> out here. You're right. Uh, the the gypsum pound it goes a long way if you got yeah. a USD. Let me tell you, <laughs> like a hundred USD will get you a nineteen thousand nineteen hundred nineteen hundred nineteen hundred uh, uh, Egyptian, Egyptian pound pounds. EPs. Yeah, uh, so. Um, Hey, come on out here. Uh, but uh, that's enough for us. We, we'll catch you back in States uh, next episode. <laughs> right? Right. Yeah, yeah. We, maybe. We'll catch maybe you. No, no, no. We will. We'll catch you. <laughs> look at look at Sarah leaving you over. You want to uh, close us out there? You wanna, oh, yeah, yeah, You want to yeah. close us out? Oh, yeah, right, right. I got, I'm just the, this breeze from the Nile River, y'all. <laughs> I, I feel so peaceful in my heart today. Um, right. But if you didn't like this episode, it's okay. It's all right. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? This world is bigger than just the two of us. <laughs> just the two of just us. Just the two right. of us. Right, right, right. Um, 
there's, you know, people that have lived for thousands of years. No, that's not true. I mean, thousands of years ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, enjoy life. Get out there. I don't know. Touch touch some grass. <laughs> Just some blades. Go ahead and get you some touch, blades. Touch a little blade of grass. It's probably feel better. It's probably thousands years old. Yeah. I know it's not. It's probably no, it's not. a couple months, a couple weeks. It's not. <laughs> you mow the Jim grass. Is, Jim is out there watering his grass. <laughs> Stop Jim, it. Jim, stop watering the grass. Come on, Come on Keith. You should you should grow uh get turf. cloves. Get turf. Get, why? Let's let's stop name shaming. All right. Uh y'all <laughs> live from uh Egypt. We'll see you back next in week? Chicago next week. <laughs> Yo, peace. Thank you so much for listening to this episode of 77 Flavors of Chicago. We look forward to having you again next Monday. So make sure you look out for us on any platform where you can listen to a podcast. Make sure you rate, subscribe, and do all the things. And we'll see you next Monday.